Hello everybody and welcome back to Speed 5 Hearts of Iron. <laughs> it's uh, always exciting when I go to Speed 5. But we are currently in a situation where we are mostly just waiting on the justification on the Cherokee, right? And that's going to be another like 90 days. So that's going to take a little bit of time. So we'll cruise through that on Speed 5. In the meantime, we will m reinforce some of these divisions. It looks like that is everything. Yes. Oh yeah, Tibet as well. I knew I was forgetting something. How long on Tibet? We are currently... Tibet has war goals... Tibet has war goals against Tibet. That's exciting. Okay. And we are ways away from justifying on them as well. So that's fine. We have some free dockyards. Okay. Now, we're not currently going to be needing much of anything in terms of war support or anything like that right now. What we need more than anything currently is additional resources. And of course, we're going to have to plan how to deal with free India. That's going to be a mess. There's no doubt about that one. We're going to have to set up our navy. We're going to have to set up our armies. And we're going to have to crush them on many Many fronts all at once. However, I think the setup for that is going to be next episode. And this episode is just going to be cleaning up these last couple of pieces. Cherokee and Tibet, that is. I do want to go around and make sure that all of these random nations are puppeted to Free India. And yeah, I mean, they all should be. I believe they all are. But I want to make absolutely sure... Puppeted to Free India, puppeted to Free India. Okay, and then this down here, Jamaica. Yep, that's puppeted to Free India. Hispaniola is puppeted to Free India. This is just proper Free India here. And let's see, anything up here? Yeah, that's held by Free India as well. Okay, that's fine. Now over here, we know that there's Pratihara Australia, which is puppeted to Free India. Indian X-34, yep, expected. There's these guys, Majapahit. There's these guys, which are puppeted to Free India, Timor. Ternate are puppeted to Free India. North Borneo, yep, these guys are all puppeted to... Uh, wait a second, these are us. <laughs> what am I talking about? Ah, Tondo is not... Oh yeah, we invited them to the... Uh, we invited them to the faction, didn't we? Tondo is not a puppet of Free India. So, as soon as we're done with that, we should definitely start working on Tondo. I do want to get an army in place over here. These guys are currently assigned there. I think pretty much everybody's assigned right now. We'll wait. And the Cherokee, whoever's assigned up here, which is in fact this army. This army will be the one that respawns to Tondo, I think. So we'll have to clean them up as well. That's completely fine. We'll assign these divisions in over here. That is all of them. Fantastic. We'll double check our infrastructure. Hello. We'll get all of that constructed. No, they are not ready yet. Get out of here. Excellent. So how are we doing on Cherokee? Well, our troops are not exactly in position, if I'm honest. A lot of them aren't even moving. Do we not have dockyards here? Hmm. They have no dockyards. And we can't get off of this location. We can't transport from a non-naval base location. This is super awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what we did previously with Free India, where we're going to, quote unquote, spend political power to make this happen. Now, this is Free India. So we're just going to... I forget how we do this. Uh, what I did previously was I said that costed, what, 100 political power to convince them to build there? So we're going to... Let's see here. What is it called? Power, perhaps? Minus 100? Nope. Political underscore power? Minus 100? Yes. Okay. And then we should tag 
I believe they're IND. I don't know this for a fact. Does not appear to be a valid tag. Okay, debug. Let's see what they are. Raj. Okay, tag Raj. That's right. So, again, we are spending the political power here, and we're going to give it to them, actually. Political. That's not how you spell. Political underscore power 100. So they get the political power. And then we are going to construct in naval bases here. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Now we're going to tag back over to Ethiopia. Just to make sure that we can get out of here. Okay, so we have a similar situation with these guys, right? No, these are ours. Okay, so where's the rest of this army at? Let's see. Right-click to pan to the division. Perfect. So these guys are pretty much all stuck here. We have some that are apparently up over here. Ah, yes. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we will assign these guys to be all part of this. It's currently only two divisions. There we go. We'll get them all over there. So we spent the political power to convince Free India to uh, build some naval bases there. It'll get built eventually, I hope. <laughs> and those troops will get freed up. It did cost us a fair amount of political power, though. Oh, are we still in debug mode? We're still in debug mode. Let's turn that off. Fantastic. Okay. So this should be enough, even without these guys, but I want to get the, these 14 divisions off of that island eventually. Wonderful. So how close are we here? We are about 20 days away. That is great. And as soon as we're done with that, we should definitely begin justifying on Tondo here. And yeah, we invited these guys, so it makes sense. We do want to kick them from our faction, but I'm going to hold off on that until after Cherokee is dead. Wonderful. As far as Tibet goes, I mean, that'll fall pretty quickly. We are currently about 70 days away from that one. No, Canada, you are not ready. Yes, we must rally behind the cause. Cherokee do not... They, they don't need sovereignty. Why, why would we want them to have sovereignty? They have it right now, but they don't need it. What they need is healthcare by force if necessary. Like, we are currently authorizing the use of lethal force to give them the best possible healthcare. That's that's how this works. I'm sure everyone understands this. We don't have any technologies to research. I don't know why I opened that. We do have an available war goal on Cherokee and... I guess that finished. I must have clicked through it. We will go ahead and declare this. I'm going to leave it on speed five, though. This is going to this is going to be pretty much instant. And it's done. Cherokee has capitulated. OK, so we're going to have these guys immediately come over here and we're going to put the front line here. But we're also going to select half of these and we're going to have them front line over here. We'll make sure to assign them in over there. And then the entire army will have a goal of... If I can get back over there. The entire army will have a goal of offensive lining, say... Like that. And I guess... Since that's only half of them. Also... Like that. <laughs> That'll do. So they'll make their way over there. And we are, of course, waiting on our war goal on Tibet. We're also waiting on, I think, the day tick. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to conquer everything in Cherokee. Take all states. Done. Fantastic. So there's that done, but I believe at this point we've gone through and checked every single other nation. Like, Japan is definitely a puppet of Free India. If we've missed one, we'll get them after Free India. But for now, we will just assume that every single nation out there is a puppet of Free India. And like I said, next episode will definitely be about planning for that war. Although, at the rate this episode is going, 
it might be this episode too. So we're going to have to move around a lot of troops, and we're not going to be ready to do this immediately. I do, however, want to kick Tondo from our faction. They're not going to be happy about it, but we don't care. Wait, they get a truce with everybody but us? Oh, they do get a truce with us. Lasts until one month. A one-month treaty. Okay. We're going to immediately begin justifying on them, of course. 325 days. Why is that so long? Because we have a truce? That might be because we have a truce. Ongoing war justifications. Political correctness. World tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... It's mostly the ongoing war justifications. I believe we only have the justification on Tibet right now, though, right? If we uh, look into our diplomacy... Actually, we can just get in here. This is the view I wanted. So we can see that we have a truce. We're justifying on Tibet. Yeah. So it's actually not going to get all that substantially shorter. But how long on the Tibet war goal? Hmm... Actually, I think we wait until after the Tibet war goal is justified. And then we'll declare, or rather, we'll justify on Tondo. And then once Tibet has fallen, which I don't expect will be very long. No, go away, Tondo. They want to join our faction, but we want to conquer them. Once Tibet falls and Tondo falls, then again, we're just going to assume that everything out here... We're going to assume that it is all part of Free India, and we're going to look to crush them as quick as we can. But we will definitely have to rearrange our forces. There's no doubt about that. Okay. So our war goal on Tibet will be finishing up very shortly, two days. There we go. We definitely want to immediately begin justifying on Tondo. And that will take now 215 days. So yeah, that was worth waiting. Definitely. And we want to declare on Tibet. Once again, I'm going to leave it on speed 5, I think. Are these guys actually going? No, they are not. Now they are. Excellent. Does Tibet even have any troops? Technically, I don't see any. Why are we just running in a circle around Tibet? This is my question. Why are we not attacking here? Can we just... Can we just go? Ah, because Free India is neutral. Right. We're going to have to call Free India in. I really don't like it. Oh, we can actually see here. We can make sure that Free India is the only one here in the faction. Yeah, Free India is the only one in the faction that we can call in, which means that everyone else is definitely their subject. We'll call in Free India. Hopefully they won't take anything. And inward we go. I mean, I guess if they take things, it's not the end of the world, right? Tibet has capitulated. And let's see if Tibet capitulates, too. I'm sure they will. Yep, there they go. Okay, so we're just going to conquer everything. Take all states. Now, technically, we can't do this. So, given these options, I think I would rather... That we take... Hmm. I think I'd rather that we take... This one. If we can. Yes, we can. And now we take the rest. Technically, we can't quite get that done. So it's going to have to be... Ah, uh, we can't do that. We're going to have to pass. Okay. We're going to have to pass again. 
Pass again. Now we can take this. Then we're going to have to pass roughly a million times here. And we'll see if somebody else beats us to that. But it looks like we have all the war participation. So this looks to be completely fine. There we go. I believe we took everything there. Yes, we did. Fantastic. Okay. So we've still got Tondo to worry about. But everyone else is now part of Free India. So... We're going to need to do something about that, of course. These guys are currently assigned over here. Actually, they're not assigned to anything at all. Okay, we're going to have to really think about this, aren't we? We'll go ahead and assign these guys over here. There's no way they hold this, of course. <laughs> no way whatsoever. And yeah, essentially, we're going to have to assign each of these armies individual, individually. Uh, no, they're not ready yet. Get out of here, Chickasaw. Why do you think that you can do things? You can't do anything. Okay. How's our justification on Tondo doing? Our justification is currently... A ways away. Okay. So we have some unassigned divisions, and we should definitely assign the, all of these into this army. I believe that's all of them. Okay. So, these guys. They are currently assigned where? Over here? Yeah, that's fine. I'm probably going to end up removing... Actually, we can just go in here. I'm going to remove all orders from, like, all armies. Eh, we can't apparently do that. We're going to have to do this on an individual level. Individual armies. A lot of these just don't have orders. Okay, that's fine. Again, we're going to go through all of this manually, I believe. So these guys, they are going to come up here to Yarkand. And they will go ahead and establish that. And their offensive line will be... Uh, no, that is not an offensive line tool. Their offensive line will be something along the lines of that. Excellent. Excellent. Now, anyone who has orders, I want to remove those orders other than these two armies right now. So we can see who has orders like so. And we can just simply remove all of those. And we will set up all of these individually. Okay. There we go. So these two, we definitely want them to have orders. These guys, we can go ahead and tell them that they're going to have an offensive line of something like that. We can arrange that a little bit better later on. We do have some unassigned divisions, and we're going to assign that over here. And they will slowly make their way over. Excellent. So we need to deal with the Americas, right? And I think that we're going to use this army group here to deal with the Americas. So first off, we're going to need to deal with Newfoundland. So we'll have, say, these guys come in front line here. Okay, we're going to need, what, three categories here? Is this a crossing? This is not a crossing. Okay. I thought this would be a crossing, but it is, I believe not. So we're probably going to have to naval invade this. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to assign troops here, all of them, at first. Then we're going to select half of those, and we're going to assign those up here. And then we're going we're going to go ahead and assign those. And then we're going to select half of those, and those are going to plan a naval invasion from here straight over to here. Excellent. And that's no divisions. Awkward. So we'll select these, select half of these, and assign those to this. And we'll go ahead and execute that. So that's Newfoundland taken care of. Next up, the Manhattan Commune. So we will use this army here, and we'll tell them to come on over. We will at first assign all of them to frontline here, and then we will select half of those and tell them to frontline here, and we'll make sure to assign those in. And then we will give them an offensive line, and that will be simply here. 
And then we will select these guys and we will give them an offensive line simply right here. And we'll go ahead and execute that. And so they will make their way over here in theory. Right? I think they're making their way over. At least I hope they are. They do not really appear to be. But they are moving. Oh, okay. This is just a uh, movement for now. That's completely fine. So that's the Manhattan Commune dealt with. Now then, America. I'm going to actually use this size 30 army for this one. We're going to front line right around here first. And we're going to set their offensive line to be something along the lines of this, I suppose. Like that. And that's all 30 divisions. That's fine. We're going to select only a quarter of those, though. And they are going to front line over here. And their offensive line will, of course, be right there. And they can go ahead and execute that. And we will assign these eight divisions into that. Okay, so that's wonderful. Next up, we will assign these lads to deal with Navajo. And we'll put a front line here. And they will just simply offensive line down to Santa Fe. Something like that. I guess up to Santa Fe. That works too. Next up is, of course, Oregon. And we will have this army deal with them. They will go in right there. And, of course, they will offensive line just straight to the sea. And they can go ahead and execute that as soon as they're ready. These guys are next up. And... We're running out of mainland areas to attack. But we will go ahead and come on over here. And their mission, of course, will be to offensive line to the sea. Like that. Excellent. And then that is actually all of these armies. Fantastic. So I want to get these over here for sure. They're not ready yet. These are two different... Okay, so that's actually four locations there. Okay. That's fine. We will tell this force to come in over here and front line there. And their offensive line will, of course, just be Guatemala there. And then they'll be freed up to go somewhere else. They can go ahead and execute that. These guys, they're going to have their front line be here. And then they will offensive line like so. And they can execute that. These guys, their front line will be right here. And they will offensive line to the sea. Perfect. And then these guys, they are going to front line here. And then they will offensive line down to about here. However, we're also going to select half of them. And we're going to have them front line over here. And we'll assign them into that. And we'll have them offensive line something like that. And we can go ahead and execute that. And that is mainland North America dealt with. Excellent. Now we still have to do the Caribbean. That's going to be kind of exciting. Going to have to land over here and fight our way all through this. It's going to be interesting, to be sure. And then we're going to have to take over these locations as well. That won't be too bad. There's this here. We can probably have a single army handle all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this army here. And we're going to set up a front line here. And then we're going to select half of that. And we're going to front line here. And we're going to assign those in there. And then I'm going to select half of that. And we will have them front line right here. Assign them there. And they will have an offensive line right here, of course. And we'll have an offensive line right here, of course. And we'll have an offensive line right here. There we go. And that's apparently no division assigned to that. There we go. Anybody assigned here? Now they're assigned. Are these guys assigned? Yes. Okay, so they will go ahead and execute that. So that'll deal with all of that. And then there is this over here, right? That's going to be interesting to deal with, for sure. We hold this, but... Free India holds all of this over here. They also hold this, which there's a connection to. Okay. 
Well, we will go ahead and have this army come down here, and they will front line right over here. And then we will select half of those, and they will plan a naval invasion from here up to probably up here is, I think, where they're going to go. And they'll go ahead and be assigned to that. And that will get that, in theory, under control. However, we're also going to attack over here. So we're going to select half again of these. And we are going to plan a naval invasion from here in Cuba up to here. And then we also need to get these couple of locations, right? But that's okay. We can do that. We'll sign those in there. And we might come back to that a little bit later on. Okay. So I would like to say that that's the Americas taken care of. It kind of isn't. However, I'm going to select, say, this force here. And we're going to take about half of these guys, actually. And we're going to tell them that they should plan a naval invasion from here to here. No, I don't want to delete this. We'll assign them there, and then we're going to select another half of them, and we're going to tell these guys to plan an invasion from here up to here. There we go. And we'll assign that straight in there. Okay, so I believe that is the Caribbean taken care of. Although we don't have an offensive line over here, and we should. There we go. And we'll go ahead and execute all of that as soon as we're ready. We'll have to do the naval bits and the non-North America bits. Like, this over here is going to be a big mess. But we'll have this freed up, and we'll have to deal with all of this mess. So we'll have to do a little bit more planning in the next episode. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.